Erin with Time Saving Templates and in this video we are going over the last two features of XLOOKUP. So this is the fourth video in a series we did all about XLOOKUP. So if you're looking to understand all the basics of XLOOKUP, I would start, I'll link to the first video and it kind of makes sense if you go through each one. This last one, we're covering uh, two of the optional features of XLOOKUP that uh, are maybe less used or less known, but could also be a big time saver for you. So we are looking at the XLOOKUP function arguments, and we're going to be going over the match mode and the search mode. And what this does, so the match mode is very similar to uh, VLOOKUP, the feature in VLOOKUP where you would enter true or false for range mode. The, the argument was called range mode in VLOOKUP and you would enter false for an exact match or true for a not exact match. With XLOOKUP, it's a little bit different. You don't have to enter true or false at all. It will automatically make sure that you have an exact match before it links the information over. So is where VLOOKUP, I'd have to always enter false. XLOOKUP, I don't have to enter false. It'll automatically default to that setting. But there is are times where using the going away from the default will will help. So we'll go over that. And then search mode, we'll also look at uh, if you have a lot of duplicates in your data and you're trying to do, uh, say you did a VLOOKUP, it would pull in the first occurrence of a match. Or if we use search mode, we can specify to have it pull in the last occurrence. If you have employees with multiple uh, performance reviews or something in the file that the employee ID is listed multiple times, it's just going to pull in the first one if we don't change it here. So let me jump into the file function. I'm going to use this commission example to go over this match mode. By default, we are looking at if we're doing exact match. And usually that's what we do most of the time with HR related lookups is exact match. So with this example, we're going to use that to pull in commission rates based on where they fall within this threshold. So say they have to go, they have to be above 71% to get a commission. So if they're between zero and 70%, they're getting a 0%. If they fall between 71 and 100, it's a 2% commission rate, etc. So here I have some more sample data with just various quota attainments. So for example, the first one at 85% quota. So we want to pull in that this person should be getting a 2% commission because they fall between this. So we're going to use XLOOKUP to pull in that commission rate. We are looking at the quota attainment as our lookup value. And then we're just going to look up the minimum value right here. That's the only column we really need because we're, we're just seeing if 85% is above which one is it higher than? The return value is going to be the commission rate. And I'm going to go ahead and block function F4, function F4. This way it can drag this formula down and have it reference that table still. So now we're going to look at match mode. Let me click OK for a second, and you'll see we're getting an NA. And this is what a VLOOKUP would do for us too. So let me click in here so you can see the optional ones are over here. If not found, match mode. Let me... Okay, match mode. These are the options in match mode. So zero exact match is the default. That's why we got an NA because there's no 85% here, so it's not finding a match. We could go with exact match or next smaller item or exact match and next larger item. I'm going to go with the negative one, and that is for the exact match or the next smaller item. Now it brings in the correct amount 
2% for an 85% quota attainment. I'm just going to drag it down. And then there we have the commission rate. Now we can do the commission payout times their, their salary. So that can be helpful when we have different levels of performance that we're trying to assign different ratings for that. I could probably even use that for some things in the merit matrix. Back to the original example where I was showing how to pull in the performance rating. And of course we broke the VLOOKUP formula here because we inserted a column. But looking at this performance rating, by default, we are pulling in the first occurrence. So you'll see in the sample data, I have it sorted by date. So we have 2020 up here, and we also have performance ratings from 2019. So we have duplicate data in this, this sort, data source. So we have employee one got a 10 in 2020, but they're also listed here and they got a nine for 2019. I just put everyone at nine for 2019 and everyone at 10 for 2020 to make it easier for this example. Say that we know we have duplicates in our information and we wanna pull in something other than the first value. So by default, XLOOKUP will pull in the first value, but we can also tell it to look at the last value instead. That is with the search mode option in here so you can see this. Okay, match mode. And then search mode is right here. So default, it's setting uh, searching first to last. We can change this to a negative one for search last to first. These bottom two I haven't used yet. So I'm just going to enter negative one. And then now it's pulling in the nine. So it's pulling in the last occurrence of that ID. So you just kind of have to be careful with this, though, because you'll see that employee six only had one performance rating and they weren't here in, in 2019. So it's pulling in the only occurrence. It's still pulling in the 10 for employee six. And then it's pulling in an eight for employee three cookie dough. The performance rating from 2018 that's in here. So you just kind of have to understand your data and understand which years do you have, how do you want to pull that information in. So just something to think about when you're when you're using that that last match feature. It would just be a negative one. Okay, so I hope that helps you use XLOOKUP the next time you are using formulas in Excel. And until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets. And if you are looking for, uh, if you're interested in any of the templates we cover in the videos, you can find those if you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash shop. And the ones we use today are going to be in the human resources section that's for a merit increase program and a variable compensation program. I also wanted to show you we have free resources you can get at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and the small business is a handmade product pricing template and then we also have rental property management, a property improvement template and for human resources compensation. We have a compensation metrics cheat sheet. And then if you're thinking you want to go back to the basics of Excel and in getting that good foundation, we also have a free video guide to help get you started with using Excel. You can find that there in the free resources as well. So if you like this video, please subscribe and go check out the free resources and I will see you next time. Thank you.